All right, let's go ahead and talk about Line. And the first thing that I want to mention is that she was tested on the test server, which has a lot of input lag. On top of that, we use an average player stat, so you may get better results than we did. But I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Kawasa, where you can check him out over at Twitch, over at Muwasa Gaming, who does raids, FC, and even Void Abyss 6 carries, as long as you're on Solaris. And Kazer, my Claudia Matrixy expert. These two are essential when it comes to testing characters. And I also want to thank Ridley, greatest Discord moderator who helps keep me on track. All right, now let's talk about Lon's main mechanic, which lies in her umbrellas that she places by enemies when you attack them. You can have up to three umbrellas and you need to make sure whenever you use Lon skill, three umbrellas are out. Otherwise, you miss out on benefits like extra damage and hyperbody. It is also important to ensure that enemies stay close to the umbrellas since they provide extra damage over time. If you are facing a mobile enemy, it can be tough to get the max value out of Lon's umbrellas since a moving target means you can miss your skill and passive damage. Other than the umbrellas, Lon provides a pretty simple kit of just buffing weapons, debuffing enemies, and doing large amounts of damage herself. Lon is a buffer slash debuffer and sub DPS who empowers other flame weapons while also pulling her own weight. Lon is best paired with Annabella to help provide her big bursts of damage while using her skill. On top of that, she also provides a lot of damage on her own, while also providing much needed shatter for the flame element. So now let's talk about Lon's ascensions. Lon's most important ascension is her one star which increases the ammo consumption, charge, damage, and shatter of other weapons while providing extra AoE damage. This benefits Annabella the most as it lets you consume all of Annabella's eight ammo shots, providing a large boost in damage. Lon's three star provides a bit of extra DPS upon casting a weapon discharge, but the main benefit of this star is for tanking by reducing the enemy's attack while also providing quality of life by allowing you to start with three umbrellas immediately at the start of the battle. The five star is simply extra DPS, not a huge increase, but an advancement to get if you intend on maxing out DPS for both Lon, Annabella, and any other flame weapon. The six star is situational. The attack bonus damage on Lon's attack chain are definitely useful, but only if you play Lon as more of an on-field DPS during Annabella's skill downtime. The other effect of the 6 star is quality of life, but not necessary for doing high amounts of DPS. Alright, now let's go ahead and talk about Lon's trait, which is purely for tanking. Reducing the flame and frost damage you receive, but also increasing the final damage for you and your party. When it comes to tanking, I would say this is one of the best traits to have in most situations. Alright, now let's get to the fun part, the DPS calculations. And this is what we're working with. Over 10k crit and close to 22,000 flame attack to simulate the average player's stats. So the old comp consisted of Lin, Annabella, and Ruby. With Lin using a 3 star 4 piece Lin, Annabella using a 3 star 4 piece Annabella, and Ruby using a 3 star 4 piece Ruby. And in a minute and 30 seconds, they were able to reach 100 million. Now let's talk about the Lon comps. And there's three main comps, starting with the meta comp, which consisted of Lin, Annabella, and Lon where Lin used no matrices, a zero star four piece Lon matrice, and all the way up to her three star four piece matrice, where Annabella used three star four piece Annabella matrices, and also DPS matrices consisting of three star two piece Lyra, three star two piece Cobalt, and Lon used three star four piece Lin, and they used the Fenrir trait. An alternative trait that you can use is the Annabella trait. Your main focus is just to try to get as many Annabella dodges as you you can so that way you maximize your DPS. And this was the stats for this team. A little over 9,000 crits and close to 23,000 flame attack. So here are the results of the meta comp in a minute and 30 seconds. Zero Star Lon was able to reach 54 million with her Zero Star 4 piece, 71 million. Using DPS matrices, 65 million. One Star Lon was able to reach 70 million using her Zero Star 4 piece, 83 million using DPS matrices, 76 million. Three star Lon was able to reach 71 million using her zero star four piece, 87 million and using DPS matrices, 83 million. Five star Lon was able to reach 73 million using her zero star four piece matrices, 94 million and with DPS matrices, 89 million. Six star Lon was able to reach 83 million using her zero star four piece, 102 million surpassing the old comp and using DPS matrices, 
$95 million. Using her 3-star 4-piece, she was able to reach $121 million, and using DPS matrices, $111 million. I was also asked to test out the comparison between Cobalt and Annabella matrices, which consisted of Lynn using a 3-star 4-piece Lon, Annabella using a 3-star 4-piece Cobalt, and Lon using a 3-star 4-piece Lynn. And in a minute and 30 seconds, they were able to reach $103 million. I was also asked to test out Lynn, Claudia, and Annabella versus Lynn Lon and Annabella matrices. And that team consisted of Lynn using a 3 star 4 piece Claudia, Annabella using a 3 star 4 piece Annabella, and Lon using a 3 star 4 piece Lynn. And in a minute and 30 seconds, they were able to reach 93 million. And here's what this comp was able to do using live stat values. 6 star Lon was able to pull out 175 million. 6 star Lon using DPS matrices was able to pull out 169 million and 6 star Lon using Cobalt matrices was able to pull out 155 million, and 6 star Lon using Claudia matrices was only able to pull out 141 million. In the time that it took to clear Heroic Rudolph, it was 3 minutes and 8 seconds. And here is the 30 second rotation. Next, we have the Mono Flame team, which consisted of Ruby, Annabella, and Lon, with Ruby using a 3 star 4 piece Ruby, Annabella using a 3 star 4 piece Annabella, and Lon using her 0 star 4 piece matrices and her 3 star 4 piece matrices. And this team used the Alex trait. And this is the stats of the team a little over 9,000 crit and close to 23,000 flame attack. So, 0 star Lon using her 0 star 4 piece was able to reach 57 million. One star Lon was able to reach 71 million. 3 star Lon was able to reach 73 million. And 5 star Lon was able to reach 78 million. 6 star Lon was able to reach 81 million. And 6 star Lon using her 3 star 4 piece was able to reach 93 million. And here's what this comp was able to do using live stat values. 6 star Lon using her 3 star 4 piece was able to reach 148 million. The heroic Rudolph clear was 3 minutes and 50 seconds. And here is the 30 second rotation. Then we have the rainbow comp, which consisted of Lynn, Claudia, and Lon, with Lynn using a 0 star 4 piece Lon all the way up to her 3 star 4 piece matrices, Claudia using a 3 star 4 piece Lynn, and Lon using a 3 star 2 piece Lyra, 3 star 2 piece Cobalt, and this team used the Fenrir trait. And this is the stats of the team, a little over 8,000 crit and close to 20,000 flame attack. 0 star Lon using her 0 star 4 piece was able to reach 60 66 million. One star Lon was able to reach 71 million. And three star Lon was able to reach 75 million. Five star Lon was able to reach 76 million. And six star Lon was able to reach 84 million. And six star Lon, using her three star four piece, was able to reach 107 million, finally surpassing the O comp. And here's what this comp was able to do using live stat values. 6 star Lon using her 3 star 4 piece matrices was able to reach 160 million. For the heroic Rudolph clear, we were not able to clear it due to lack of survivability. And here is the 30 second rotation. Then we have our free-to-play slash low-spender teams. 
due to the fact that we can't lower down star levels, all of the characters are six star, but we did use zero star matrices to help compensate. And both of these teams use the Samir trait, starting with the Lin team. And here are the stats, a little over 8,000 crit and close to 19,000 flame attack. This team consisted of Lin, Annabella, and Lon, with Lin using a zero star four piece Shiro, Annabella using a zero star two piece Shiro, zero star two piece Samir, and Lon using a zero star two piece Shiro, zero star two piece Samir. And in a minute and 30 seconds, they were able to reach 61 million. And here is a 15 second rotation. The next team consisted of Claudia, Annabella, and Lon. And here are the stats, a little over 7,000 crit and 18,000 flame attack. With Claudia using a zero star four piece Shiro, Annabella using a zero star two piece Shiro, zero star two piece Samir, and Lon using a zero star two piece Shiro, zero star two piece Samir. And in a minute and 30 seconds, they were able to reach 55 million. And here is a 15 second rotation. And now for the disclaimer slash notice section. And the first thing that I want to mention is the testing environment, which has a lot of input lag. So you might be able to pull out better numbers than we did. For example, Kawasa on the live servers is able to pull out 110 million using the Ruby comp. Whereas on the test server, he was only able to pull out 100 million. Also, we use Lyra and Cobalt for DPS matrices due to debuffing with flame. But Crow is better than Lyra as long as you have above an 85% crit rate. But you can't use it on the cactus, so you should be able to get better numbers than we did. You also could consider replacing Lyra with Fenrir matrices, especially if you have high crit rate. Otherwise, you could just use Shiro. Number two, matrices. Lon's matrices are actually pretty good. Even getting a zero star beats out most DPS matrices. Also, Annabella matrices are much stronger due to the fact that they give you final damage, crit rate, crit damage, and what's really helpful is an extra dodge attempt. But do note that Cobalt matrices are coming to standard next patch, which do provide two of these things, being the dodge attempt and final damage. Number three, the cactus can be misleading. Lon is very strong and really carries the flame team. But be careful not to just focus on cactus parses. Because in actual combat, enemies have shields, iframes, and they move. And if you miss certain skills with Lon, your DPS suffers greatly. Number four, tanking. Lon for your tank team is a huge asset. She provides 20% damage reduction to all of your teammates by also providing strong taunts and more survivability for yourself. If you like playing tank, Lon is a must have even at zero stars. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and consider subscribing. I do tons of videos on Tower of Fantasy to help prevent you guys from making mistakes. But other than that, talk with you guys later.